All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make some pizza for you. First, I'm gonna take the dough out of the bag. That it's in. Second, well this was sitting for about 25, 30 minutes before I am flouring it now. Make sure it's covered in flour. We don't want too much, but just enough. And then when it's all covered, you start pinching the sides and let it rotate. And as you pinch it, it'll start to soften. And you're pinching the crust because if you pinch the middle, the middle will start developing holes. So you're going for the crust here. Yeah, and that, oops. Now if you experience that, it's a really bad sign, so. Already off, already off to a bad start. <clears throat> this is not a good piece of dough. Make your own dough. No excuses though. Then you wanna take the middle of the dough with your knuckles and just start shaking it. You go out to the outsides a little and grab onto the outsides. Okay. With that hole what we'll do is we'll just fold it up when we get a chance. Just kind of playing with it, just stretching it out. This one is a tricky one. Well, we're going to slap it down there. Just kind of oil the pan first. I use extra virgin olive oil. You usually want to use grapeseed oil, coconut oil, because um, <clears throat> they're better for higher heats. Whereas olive oil is really good on salads. Use a extra virgin olive oil and an apple cider vinegar. If there's a hole, it's okay. What you want to do is just try to push it together a little bit. And as it cooks, you won't even see it. You see, you can't even see it now. Just kind of patch it together. Real gentle. Okay. I'm using a canned tomato sauce. Usually I'll use a glass jar tomato sauce, but this one was on sale. You want to get a good expensive can opener. This one's a cheap one. Worked pretty good today. Never want to let that go in there and you never want to use the sides of the sauce because the acid in the sauce deteriorates or deteriorates the can and that can all the chemicals that the can is made up of all that aluminum gets in your sauce because it's so acidic so you really just want to use the sauce on the inside you can scoop it out You're really not trying to scrape the side. Let the sauce on the sides stay. You might waste some sauce that you didn't plan on. It's better than trying to take in all those cancerous metals. And then just spread the sauce. You can make your own sauce by just uh, 
steaming some tomatoes and then crushing them. It would be really watery, so what you would do is add basil, oregano, black pepper. Okay, there's our, our sauce. There's our cheese here. I am making a bad pizza today, I guess you could say. Because I'm using pepperoni and cheese. So, this might not be for everybody. So if you don't want to see any meat, you can turn it off now. Okay. I'm going to start with the mozzarella. First we want to see if we have any spices. We got some basil. Oregano is always good. All we got today is basil. Basil, oregano, parsley, fresh or dried. Both are very healthy. Pour it on. Some cheese here. White cheese. About three fourths of the bag. After that, <coughs> use our pepperoni. This is a boar's head. We're going to cut it up from scratch. We want those slices really thin. I'm using a lot of strength here to push that pepperoni down. A lot of strength to saw it. Okay. If you don't eat cheese or meat, well, maybe find a different type of a cheese, maybe a dairy free cheese. And then if you don't want that, you can just use the sauce add these tomatoes with some fresh basil, oregano, or parsley and some garlic cloves. So we're just going to chop these up as well. You have to hold it real soft. Make sure your hands are good. I get <clears throat> organic tomatoes. I don't typically put pepperoni on my pizza but I don't usually, so I'm celebrating tonight. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the pepperoni on the outsides. About three inches apart. Sides about two inches apart, and then one on the inside. Tomatoes go in the little pockets, any pockets you can find. I don't want too much in the middle, that's usually the softest spot on a pizza. After that, I'll add some cheddar. About a half a bag worth. And I'll put it in for about 10 minutes at about 415 degrees. 
Uh, we had it at 400 for 15 minutes, or about 14 minutes. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. I think we got a good one. I think we got a good one. I always want to check the, bo the bottom of the crust. Always use wood. Oh yeah. Getting hot in here. Oh yeah. Nice and crusty. There you go. Light brown to dark brown. 